guys, William here with Smash Reviewers. Today I have Greg with me. How you guys doing? And we are going to take a look at the SEMA X5SW. Stay tuned, it's going to be awesome. We have a lot of information for you guys. Don't want to miss out. Alright guys, let's check this out. Um, let's, let's go over what it's got. Um, it has its, you know, 2.4 gigahertz controller, pretty standard for, you know, low end uh, quad here. Um, we have uh, a whole bunch of uh, blades and blade guards. It also comes with extra ones, which is uh, very nice, you know, especially when you're first time flying something that's going to, you know, probably break or get damaged. Uh, so that's definitely good. Um, it does come with a camera and it does come with feet um, and extra feet as well. Um, again, great to have. It's perfect um, beginner quad. Like, if you're a beginner, this is the perfect quad to go after. I mean, you wouldn't ask for any much more than this just to get started, just because it's not only it's if you get hit with this thing, it's small and it won't hurt as bad. Um, it's very light, and you don't need to get it drone registered. So that's the plus for it already. You don't have to get no licenses or anything. You literally, this is a fly out the box, ready to go type of machine. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, it's very light. Um, I mean. I mean, feel that. I mean, you, you, <laughs> it feels like a piece of paper. I mean, in your I think hand. a book. It's, you know, a book of paper. I think that would be more heavier than this. I mean, this yeah. thing is ridiculous. Feels feels like nothing. Um, well, let's go in. Uh, let's talk about it. Um, this thing has been beaten up. I mean, we've used <laughs> this thing like crazy. Um, we've broken a couple of blade guards. Um, not so bad, actually. We've crashed this thing. Um, I don't know how many times. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, a the only thing that that's actually happened is the uh, you know the paint's coming off. Um, but again, nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, it's still in one piece, uh, no cracks. Um, and again, I mean, we played this thing out uh, like crazy. I mean, we've even had like little wars where we both get, you know, both of them in there and like <laughs> crash them. crashing each other. Um, so that was great. Um, Another thing was is the wind. It handles okay in the wind, a lot better than I expected. A lot better than I expected. Uh, this other day, we were actually in what. 12 mile it was pretty bad. Wind. It was pretty bad. <laughs> and it yeah. was still handling. And I was actually impressed. I'm not saying it was handling perfect, no. but it was flyable. You can actually go and fly it in the wind. So that was another bonus on that part. Um, yeah, that was great. Um, a lot of fun. Um, you know, if you could definitely pick one of these up, I highly recommend it. It's it, it's a great little, like you said, you know, a uh, little practice copter or something to, you know, move your weight up. Um, so do now recommend, the, hold on, excuse me. I do re recommend you guys getting extra batteries for this. Oh yeah. Because I think it's only a six to seven minute flight time. And that that varies. I mean, sometimes we get like nine minutes. It, it all depends on what you have on it. If you take off the blade guards, you take off the the landing, you take off the camera, you'll get a little bit longer uh, flight time. Um, if you're first starting off with drones, I do not recommend that. Um, definitely keep everything on uh, once you become pro or better. Um, then that's the time where you could uh, start taking things off and get a little bit longer flight time. But like he said, definitely get some batteries, definitely pick up some chargers. Uh, you're going to have a ton of fun. Uh, this is good for, you know, your kids or if you want to fly with them, definitely something you could fly with. Um, definitely. You could do it inside, you could do it indoors. Um, that works as well. Um, obviously, I don't recommend it. It's a little bit bigger. If you had something smaller, um, it'd be better indoor. But it definitely works indoor. We could definitely do it. But you know, you'd have to have a pretty big house to to kind of mess with that. Um, Some of the features that it does have, it does have headless mode, so you can mess with that if you want to pan with the camera and everything, which is it works really good. Um, it does acrobats, so it does flips and all that other kind of stuff, which is pretty fun. I like to mess with that a lot. Um, I don't think it has a one key return, um, no. so that, I mean, it's not too much of a big deal to me. I mean, it's not like I'm, it's not a thousand dollars going, driving away from me, so, um, the features are pretty cool. I mean, the flips are really tight, they're clean, they're not all over the place. I think it has a six axle gyro, so it does stabilizes itself after the flips or if it gets a little bit windy like we were talking about it's, earlier. It's actually really stable for what it is. I mean, it's so light, you, you really wouldn't expect that uh, with a quad like this. Um, but it does pack a pretty big punch. Um, anything else you can think of, like the positive side of, of Um, this? You know what, it, it's just something that's really fun and easy to get out there. I mean, you don't. there's not much to do it. Like I said, you have a controller, you have a quad, and you have a battery. You get it all together and you're outside in the park you're having fun for a couple minutes or hours depending on how much equipment and accessories you have to equip to it. 
Um, yeah, so, I mean, like you said, totally agree. Um, now, the, the, the negatives of it. Um, the one thing I didn't like, uh, the controller that it did come with, oh, this is the controller it came with, but the antenna inside uh, is really bad. So, um, I, I, I highly recommend looking up some videos that, um, you know, extend the range. This one is extended, um, and, I mean, it's night and day. Um, so, definitely get something that will extend it. Look up videos. There's um, plenty of videos on YouTube. Just look up this uh, 2.4 gigahertz mod, and you, it's pretty much for any point, any 2.4 gigahertz uh, RC controller to do it. And yeah. there's many videos on there. So definitely check that out. Um, that's one thing I I didn't like. But once we upgraded this, um, we're actually able to fly pretty much almost anywhere. Um, you know, within reason. I, I don't know the exact um, how far we're able to go, but it's it's a uh, hundred times better. Yeah, you're doubling it, it easy. You're doubling it by um, easy. <laughs> and, and, and it's a basic controller, nothing nothing too fancy. It's it's real light, kind of cheesy yeah, almost. I'm say toy like feel. Um, yeah, kind of like toy. Um, maybe you could what you could do is throw some magnets in the bottom. You know, hot glue them or some some weights. Um, you know, give it give it a little bit better feel. Um, so that you know pretty basic uh the other thing is the camera the camera you're not buying this thing for the camera let's just Absolutely put it that way not <laughs> <laughs> it's uh you know it'll it, it's something to show off like hey it has a camera um <laughs> but that's just about it <laughs> has other it's than that it's, wi-fi signal i think it is yeah you, <laughs> i mean you could you could watch it live uh, on your phone kind of like a first person view kind of thing but Again, it's not. It's kind of choppy. It's it's not the not the best. I think it's one of those hit and misses. If you have a good day, you might get some clarity. <laughs> yeah, but other than that, um, I recommend just honestly just take it off, get rid of it. Don't even use the thing. Seriously. You know, can't even take it off. <laughs> but uh, I I don't don't use it. Um, I mean, you could try it. You know. Um, other than that, everything's been pretty good. Uh, again, I mean, this thing's been slammed to the floor. Um, quite a few times and you can see the propellers are uh, you know definitely pretty beat up um, I have not changed it we've had it for uh, quite a while now a couple months and um, it's still in one piece I'm surprised and we bent propellers pretty bad and all we did was bend them back and they worked right off the bat and so yeah. it, this stuff is really forgiving if you would say so you, you get a lot of chances before you call it a day I guess yeah definitely definitely uh, you know pick one of these things up um, especially if you can find it for a good price, um, it's totally worth it. You will have fun, your kids will have fun, and that's pretty much all I got for it. Anything and another, another thing is, is uh, on the controller, the batteries, we've been flying these for about two months now. Yeah, at least, yeah. And we've not changed the batteries in the receiver yet. No. So um, that's another cool thing. Usually they, they eat up a lot of battery, and this pretty much has been good. So that's... That's pretty awesome. Never happen to mess with that all the time. Um, I mean, I think that's pretty much, pretty much what you're gonna get with this deal. I mean, it's it's worth the money. That's for sure. Totally, totally worth, worth the money. Worth the money. And uh, like I said, very fun. If you're definitely, if you're first getting into a uh, quadcopter, this is you know pretty decent one. Uh, you know, if you want to start a little bit smaller, that's that's okay too. Uh, but if you want to just jump in there, this is definitely something you could learn on. And I um, believe Sima has the kits where you can actually move up as you're going. So you have a beginner to to more advanced quapters that you can get into with Sima. So you can literally follow up as you're growing with them. So as you're getting better, you can get better drones with Sima. So yeah, that's pretty much our review. Um, anything else you want to add? I think that's it. I think you you pretty much heard what we have to say about it. I mean, it's an yeah, awesome you, toy. I go yeah, if you that. guys have any questions, definitely uh, post below. Uh, let us know what uh, you want us to review, uh, what you liked about this, what you didn't like about it, if you uh, if you do have one. Um, or if you're looking at getting one, let us know what kind of questions you have, and we'll uh, you know, try to answer them the best you can. Uh, we're not professionals, but we love doing this, and it's a, it's a lot of fun.
All right, guys, one thing I just wanted to show you real quick is this button up here. By default, it's in intermediate mode, and if you hit this, you should hear two beeps. When you hear two beeps, you'll be in expert mode. That's the mode you'd want to be in if you're flying outdoors. Uh, you could do it indoors if you have a really big house, but I uh, totally recommend uh, the expert mode if you're outside. Uh, other than that, everything's pretty standard, pretty basic. If you guys have any questions, let me know. This button up here is going to do your flip, so you want to go you know, forward and then hit this button, and that's going to do a forward flip. You go back in this button, that's going to be a back flip, side flip. All right guys, so we're gonna give this four smashes out of five. The only reason is the camera quality is not that great and the range on the remote is pretty bad. Other than that, we loved it. If you guys mod it, you guys will love it. Trust me, we love it. Anyways, I'm William, this is Greg, and don't forget to smash that subscribe button below. Or that like button, and don't forget to come see us on Facebook. The link will be in the description below. Peace.